learning quad chapter 101 here. And today's shout out goes to Lucas Litwajko. I hope I pronounced that correct. Uh, Lucas was first to say first to one of my recent videos. Well, actually, probably one of my videos probably a couple months ago. I didn't forget you, though. But uh, congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here with a review of the new Z Z53 Cessna. What is the Z53 Cessna? Well, as you look at it, you can see here that this is probably telling you this is one of those two-channel pusher planes or two-channel uh, differential thrust planes, and that's indeed what it is. Now, why am I interested in reviewing it? Well, originally, <laughs> this was listed as a three-channel plane on on the site that I got this from. Unfortunately, I think they made an error. This is not a three-channel plane, folks. Uh, uh, the, the listing, the original listing of this is wrong, and I'm going to ask the sponsor to correct that. This is really just a two-channel plane. There is no elevator control on this, okay? So this is not three-channel, two-channel only, which means uh, control is strictly through these motors here, uh, pushing it right or left to turn it right or left. But uh, what, let's talk a little more about it, though. Um, it is gyro-stabilized, okay, so that uh, eases control of the airplane to keep it from pitching over or, or, or uh, looping over, you know, going forward or back, or right or left, or left or right, <laughs> to prevent it from flipping over, in, in effect, to make it easier for beginner pilots. However, it's not really automatic, okay? If you do get into problem, you know, you start getting into these uh, roller coaster fugoid oscillations, cut off the throttle, and then that is when the gyro kicks in on this aircraft, supposedly. That's in the instructions, folks. So cut off the throttle, and that will automatically level the aircraft and bring it back to smooth flight, okay? Um, other things about it. It's only 31 grams with the battery included, so in most countries, this will not require... Uh, registration okay so that registration or licensing or whatever your particular country has uh, this particular aircraft most countries you should not have a problem flying this or running into problems with the authorities and I doubt that anybody's going to really complain about this anyways as this is a toy aircraft a toy beginners learn to fly aircraft that's what it's intended for um, it does have a transmitter that supposedly gives you 200 meter range uh, however I find it hard to believe with this, this little uh, toy transmitter here can actually give you 200 meter range. Let's go over the transmitter real quick. We've got throttle. There is no left or right movement on, on this stick, so this is throttle only. Increase throttle, the aircraft will climb and go up. You decrease the throttle, the aircraft will descend and come down. If you want to turn left or right, you move this stick here left or right, and the aircraft will go left or right. Um, it doesn't, the stick does not go up or down, so again, this does not have any uh, elevator control on the aircraft as it was originally advertised. It also has a higher low rate switch, which you press here for uh, higher rate or quicker turns, shorter diameter turns. You activate that and it should do that. These two buttons up here does have a trim for yaw. So if your aircraft is drifting left or right, you can counter that by repeatedly pressing these one of these buttons in the opposite direction until the aircraft stops um, turning in uncommanded turns. Now, other things about it, I uh, mentioned it, it does have EPP foam. It's constructive EPP, EPP foam, so it should be pretty resistant to uh, impact with the ground if you do crash it. Again, I mentioned it is a two-channel aircraft, strictly controlled by the motors. Um, increased power on the motors, the aircraft goes up. De decreased power by lowering the throttle, the aircraft comes down. If you want to turn right or left, one of these motors will turn faster than the other to push it or right or left and give you that's how you get the turn command with this aircraft. Uh, let's see, I've mentioned what it comes with. Um, one thing I want to show you real quick before we go into that is this door, the bottom door of the, the battery door for the aircraft. This is where you put the battery in there, you insert the battery in there and connect it to the flight control board. And this flight control board is both your receiver and it is also contains the gyros for this particular aircraft. But you plug it in right there. And if you notice, it is a little JST uh, 1.25 plug. So um, it's kind of an unusual plug for this particular battery. The, the battery that you get with it, again, it has the JST 1.25 plug on it, micro JST, uh, also known as MCX plug. But it is a 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp per hour battery that is with dimensions of 75, 20, 35, 
written on it, and that means 7.5 millimeters thickness, 20 millimeters width, and 35 millimeters length. So if you want to look for uh, replacement batteries, you'll find plenty of 75, 20, 35s out there. <laughs> However, you're going to might have a hard time finding this one of those 70, 20, 35s with this uh, MCX plug, this micro JST 1.25. So you might have to put your own plug on there, is what I'm saying. Uh, but what else do you get in this box? You get the battery, you get its charger for that particular type of connector that you plug into a micro or into a USB port either on your computer or on a wall charger. Uh, this little battery could be charged on your computer because it's under 500 milliamp per hour and that uh, should be chargeable by just plugging into the USB port of your computer. Other things you get with it is a spare set of propellers which I'm not, I want to talk about those propellers real quick and a prop puller and you use this prop puller it's, if you notice it has a little wedge on it you know to get the, the prop off you just slide this in there and push it in and it should pry it off in effect now uh, the propellers again these propellers are the only ones that are powered if you notice they're the only ones that have a motor this propeller here is just for decoration um, it doesn't I don't think it'll spin in the wind it's it does turn, but uh, I've blown, I blown air on it, and uh, it doesn't spin, at least for mine. We'll see when we take it out and fly it. But you don't really want it to spin in effect, folks. If it does spin, that increases the drag of the aircraft and will slow it down. So uh, really, it should not be allowed to windmill in the air if you can prevent it from doing such. If yours does spin, I recommend probably putting a piece of glue on it to re reduce that spin, because that does increase drag if that become does an auto gyro effect by spitting in the wind uh, I think I've mentioned everything about this particular aircraft and one thing about the controller it's powered by three AAA batteries I forgot to mention that but uh, other than that we should be ready to go so let's take this thing out into the field and give it a flight and see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight good morning quadcopter 101 here out in a beautiful day out here in the desert with a Z53 I hope everybody's practicing good social distancing these days I know I am. Uh, normally I would fly this at the park, folks, but uh, I don't know how hyper the local authorities are over there. So uh, to play it safe, I came out here in the desert to do this flying. This is also where I go taking my dog for a walk in the morning, so it's a good place to fly to. So that's why I'm flying this tiny little airplane in this huge open space. <laughs> so just to let you know. Okay, to turn this on, it does have an on-off switch. That's one of the things I forgot to tell you. But there is an on-off switch on the bottom. The battery's already plugged in. And you turn it on. Let's throw that switch if I can see it. There it is. And you get a blinking right red light. Put it on the ground. Leave it undisturbed on the ground. And then turn on your transmitter. And then move the left stick up and then down to bind the controller to the airplane. So we should be ready to fly. Okay. So holding it in my right hand, we are going to hand toss it today. Let's check out the motors. And here we go. Wish me luck. Reducing throttle a bit. Turning to the left. Does it need to be bumped to? Nope. Nice proportional tuning. So what does that tell me? Normally these little two uh, two channel flyers. Oh, that turns really nice too. Reducing throttle really wants to climb. These normally these little two channel flyers require bump turning. This one doesn't. That and the reason being that gyro. The gyro assist on this uh, eliminates the need for the bump turning. Now this thing flies very nice, very slow. Let me bring it down. I should be that high. You should be able to fly this one in a gym because the turn radius on this is very, very sharp. Try to bring it in a little closer. Turn it the other way. Now let's go to high rate. Turn radius becomes really sharp. Increasing throttle, increasing throttle, and then I let go of the stick and see if I can loop it. No. <laughs> That's a trick you can do with these, some of these two cycle, <laughs> not two cycle, but uh, two channel planes. Let's bring this down lower. I am not really far away, folks. I'm only about 30, 40 feet away, but I know this camera is going to make this look like it's 100 miles away. <laughs> so cutting the throttle back real big time, bringing it down. It likes the thermal up there. 
zip, zip, I'm zip, zipping it back, forth, trying to bring it in. Okay, enough of that. Turn it to the left. Going back to low rate too, that's too sharp of a turn. Now, wind is picking up in my back here. It's going into the wind, going downwind now, coming back into the wind. This is a very easy flyer. Turn it around. Now it has 200 meter range. <laughs> I can't believe it 200 meter range. No, I really sincerely doubt this has 200 meter range. But if it did, there's no way you're going to see this greater than about 80 meters away. <laughs> it's going to disappear because this tiny little airplane. So there's no way you can fly this 200 meters. Uh, maybe with binoculars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Try to keep it closer to me. Try my best to keep it close. Let's go around me. Turning, turning, turning. Let's turn it harder. So, yeah, very good little beginner's plane. It is not three channel. <laughs> I don't know why they were advertising this as three channel. It's obviously a two channel plane. Easy to fly two channel plane. Let me just show you what I'm doing. Give it a little, little turn. I'm pretty sure most people could be able to fly this thing. <laughs> turn a little harder. Now, again, as per the instruction manual, if you go into fugoids and I just cut back the throttle, you don't have to cut it all the way back. Just lower the throttle, in other words. Right now I'm at 50% 50, 50 and it's climbing. So let me reduce it a little bit more. Right about there. Is that enough to just keep it in the air? Now that front propeller is not spinning, nor should it. Again, as I mentioned, if, you, if it is spinning, better increase the throttle here do the turn. If it is spinning, that would create a lot of drag. So that front propeller on this is stationary. And rightfully so. Reducing throttle, bringing it back down lower. I try to bring it in closer. So, did everybody miss me the past couple of months? <laughs> it just nothing, was nothing coming new out because of coronavirus. Um, this is the first thing they hit the, that I've received in the past two months. I had a lot of things promised on the way, but uh, obviously they're not shipping anything. Or I, I guess this is the first one they shipped. So we should start to be seeing more things coming out for the summer. I hope things calm down. Stressful time for a lot of people, I understand that. But if your local area lets you go out and play, this would be something nice to go out and play with. I read in the news yesterday or today that, that they, there was a surfer or a paddleboarder, I can't, I don't know if it was a surfer or a paddleboarder, arrested in Malibu. For breaking the uh, stay in place orders. But but anyways, enough gloom and doom. Let's just talk about flying planes. Yeah, this one's flying nicely, as you can see, folks. Very easy to fly it. I'm just turning it right. Not turning it left. Another, it is a good park flyer. Backyard flyer too, I guess. This tiny little thing. If you had a big backyard, that is. About the size of this area here. Bring it, now I'm bringing it down. It climbs when it goes straight, but if I turn it, that'll bring it back down lower. So I'm turning it to bring it down. And then when it gets down to an altitude I like, I'll let go of the stick. Boy, it's getting hard to hold my arm up to show you this. <laughs> Let's 
Try to do a low pass. Cut and throttle too. Increasing throttle. <laughs> that was too low of a throttle. Turn, turn, turn. That's a good throttle position right there. Turn to the right. Yeah, there's a little three mile per hour breeze in my back. And it feels it. So, you know, heavy, if there was heavy wind, this would not be a good flyer. <laughs> I would not recommend flying in heavy winds. But, you know, light breeze, it's flying. Okay. It's crabbing in the wind right now. Let's see if I can do that the other direction. Crab it in the wind. Going the other direction, crabbing back. What I'm doing is flying in the angle into the wind. It's flying sideways, in effect. It's too high again. Let's bring it back down. Reduce the throttle. Put it in a glide. Actually, the throttle's off right now. It's just gliding. Oh, there's very little throttle on it. I can hear the motors now. I guess I'm slope soaring off this little pile of dirt. <laughs> okay, increasing throttle. It's a long flyer for that little 380 milliamp per hour battery. Okay, coming back. There's this pile of dirt here and it's slope soaring off of it. I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> See this pile of dirt lined up here, folks? People drop some topsoil off here. I don't know, I guess for other people if they wanted to use it. More sand than soil. <laughs> but I'm trying to slope sore off of it and it actually is working. <laughs> the wind is hitting it, knocking it up in the air, and it's putting my plane up in the air too, as you can see there. <laughs> it's doing a real good job too. Let's cut that throttle back a lot more. Slope soaring off this pile of dirt. These piles of dirt. That's neat. I can do that off of that. Look at that. It's still sticking there, no throttle. Slope soaring, hitting that. The wind goes up and hits the airplane and keeps it up. Just hardly any throttle at all, and that's just for steering. Okay, now i got to give it throttle because we've gone past that. We'll turn it the other direction. Okay, there it goes up. Let's do that again. Uh, turn the other way. My other left. Oh, it's getting hit by that thermal right now. And there's no way you can see this on the camera, but it's climbing. <laughs> it's climbing big time off of that pile of dirt. Let's see if I can bring it closer so you can see it. <laughs> okay, let's bring it down now and just keep it close. Cut and throttle completely. When you give it throttle's off completely, but when you give it stick, you can hear one of the motors running to turn it. It's not coming down, folks. It is in a real thermal. <laughs> I can, and I can feel the wind blowing in from the thermal. Throttle was off completely. Here's where we're going to see if that 200 meters comes into rain, into to play here, but I am stuck in a thermal right there. Okay, now it's out of it. Now it's coming down. <laughs> so increase the throttle. Okay, I'm giving it about three quarters throttle right now, so this motor is starting to get tired, or the battery is starting to get tired. So we're going to land it right about now. See, give it a little more throttle than I we needed to. Let's reduce that. Soon we're going to be landing. So let's bring it closer. Little Z53. That wind's picking up big time. And I need to give it more and more throttle. Going downwind there, turning back into the wind. 
bump, it's bumping it around. Going back downwind. Turning back into the wind. So we're going to land it here. Yeah, for, I'm, a, I'm increasing the throttle big time now. You're going to have to land it. Let's see, I'm going to try to catch it, actually. Let's see if I can catch it. Come back into the wind. Ah, never mind. <laughs> I bumped into a bush there. Okay, so that's the Z53 Cessna. It's not a bad little flyer at all. It flies very nicely. Um, and I was actually doing slope soaring. I didn't show you this. Let's get, show you what I was using here. These mounds of dirt, people, somebody dropped this off a few years back. This topsoil and, well, I shook on it. It's actually not topsoil. There's a lot of rocks in it. <laughs> I just dumped it out here in the desert, lined it up. But I was slope soaring off of that because the wind was hitting it going upward and keeping the airplane in the air so that was pretty neat so i hope you enjoyed this flight of the z53 this is quadcopter 101 signing out hi quadcopter 101 here again hey if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos make sure you subscribe to my channel it's real simple just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe and also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button that way you get notified when i release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out so Give it a try, folks.